Over the years, we have seen a lot of smartphones promoting selfie cameras until it has become the norm to mention the feature in almost every smartphone launches. Asus is betting hard on the Zenfone 4 Selfie Pro. Not only it has the longest smartphone name in history, it also has dual front-facing camera lenses which takes different focal lengths, one with a wide-angle focal length and the other with a close-up one. But does it live up to our expectations as the Pro Selfie smartphone? I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and this is my review of the Asus Zenfone 4 Selfie Pro. The Selfie Pro isn't a flagship device even though it has a Pro moniker, but that doesn't mean it's an entirely bad phone. In fact, it will get your attention when it comes to aesthetics. It feels great on hand and it is one of the lightest smartphones that ASUS has ever made, weighing 147 grams and measuring 6.85 millimeters of thickness. Even though smartphones these days have moved on to the trend of bezel-less displays, the phone is still pretty attractive with extremely slim side bezels. If you happen to chance upon the rouge red color model of the Selfie Pro, I'm sure you are going to love it. ASUS isn't targeting the phone at users who are after the latest smartphone specs. However, what powers the phone's performance is still very decent in today's standards. The Selfie Pro employs a full HD AMOLED panel that's pretty bright and responsive to gestures, which I'm extremely satisfied when using it for watching videos and writing texts. The monolog speaker produces impressive audio quality all thanks to a built-in amplifier. The phone is also high-res audio certified and supports DTS Headphone X, Qualcomm's AppTex, and interestingly, the Audio Wizard software has a number of headset profiles for various audio brands. Zen UI has seen a lot of changes since the first Zen phone, and the Selfie Pro comes with a much faster and lighter Zen UI 4.0 software based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat. ASUS has also committed an upgrade to Android Oreo at a later time. Zen UI 4.0 hasn't changed much in terms of usability. The UI design feels pretty inspired from Samsung's Grace UX, and it also adopts a few features found on other Android devices, such as the ability to store two social and messaging accounts, a feature called Game Genie that lets you stream and record your gameplay, and automatic face tagging in the image gallery. Generally, you are not going to find any performance issues on the Selfie Pro, partly because of the capable processing power and RAM it has, but essentially, the software is very well optimized. ASUS made sense on the phone's front dual camera system. The problem with most front cameras is that they either have extremely wide angles or close-up focal lengths. So instead of attaching a lens accessory, why not have both of these camera sensors? Hence, the Selfie Pro's front camera consists of a main 12MP camera that takes close-ups and a secondary 5MP camera that takes Wi-Fi's. ASUS isn't really specific on the secondary camera specs, but the main camera is an impressive one on paper. It also has a dual pixel mode that oversamples selfies to 24 megapixels, kind of like a super resolution mode for selfies. Initially, I wasn't too impressed with the image quality when I received the phone, but after ASUS issued a software update during the review period, it performed a lot better in producing clear and vivid looking selfies and wifis. Though it still tends to fall short in low light and overexposes backgrounds, it is a rather common issue found on most selfie smartphones. The front 12 megapixel main camera is also capable of recording 4K videos, and even though I find it to be extremely unnecessary, hey, it's one way that ASUS could show this off as a pro selfie smartphone. So this video is taken entirely in 4K at 30 frames per second, downscaled to 1080p for our YouTube video uploads. So if you're going to put it on a PC or on a TV, you're definitely going to see a very clear picture quality on this video. So I'm um, not sure how you think about it. Just share me in the comments and let's get on with the review. In most cases, most selfie smartphones tend to neglect image quality on their rear camera as a result of emphasizing the front. However, the Selfie Pro is different. The 60 megapixel shooter on the back takes very impressive photos with great saturation and contrast. The phone's 3000 mAh battery will easily last you through a day on a single charge. But what I'm really disappointed here is the use of an old micro USB port and the lack of Quick Charge 3.0 which ASUS should have really included for a 2017 mid-range smartphone. If you are looking for a phone that can take both great selfies and wifis, the Zenfone 4 Selfie Pro is undeniably the best and only choice you have for now. However, 
the phone's retail price isn't attractive for what it offers on paper. So you are really going to have to appreciate the front camera hardware if you are onto this phone. Otherwise, there are a lot of other smartphones that already offer better specs and features in that price range. That concludes my review of the Zenfone 4 Selfie Pro. I really like the phone and recommend it to those who really loves taking selfies and wifis. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more tech videos. And I will see you soon in the next one.